Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Sunday, January 5th already. <clears throat> it's 10.33 a.m. And um, I'm going to try to lay down here in a little bit. Oh, Jesus, let it stay quiet. <laughs> anyway, um, I was reading. One of you had uh, kind of sent me to 2 Corinthians chapter 12. And I came upon this verse. Let's see, it's 14, that I wanted to um, just run by you, see what you think about it. And um, anyway, let me read it. It's a new paragraph here. Here, for this third time, well, Paul, let me set it up. Paul is talking about how he is... Um, uh, this is when he's talking about how he has he has an infirmity. He's got a thorn in the, in his flesh that a messenger of Satan was sent to torment him to keep him from exalting himself. Um, and three times he asked the Lord to let it leave him, but the Lord said, "My grace is sufficient for you." For power is perfected in weakness. That's verse 9. So we know right there, that's proof positive. We're not all going to get healed of our infirmities. So anyway, I was reading and reading on, and Paul was talking about being uh, strong when we are weak and so on. Okay, so I get to verse 14, <clears throat> and it's a new paragraph. He says, Here... For this third time, he's coming to visit them now. He says, I am ready to come to you, and I will not be a burden to you, for I do not seek what is yours, but you. He's, he's going to seek them, being with them. He's saying, I'm not going to seek your money. He said, but you, I'm going to seek you, for children are not, now listen to this, for children are not responsible to save up for their parents, but parents for their children. Now, I hate to say this, but my daughter has thrown this up in my face a number of times since she's been committed to the Lord and knowing the Bible. It's like this is one of her latch key verses that parents are supposed to save up for their children. She's always kind of resented her student loans. Like somehow I was, you know, parents are supposed to save up and pay for the children's education. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you something. Life doesn't turn out the way it always should. And of course the Lord knew that. If these words are even correctly translated, um, why do you think Paul would say, here for the third time, I'm ready to come to you, and I will not be a burden to you. For I do not seek what is yours, but you. For children are not responsible to save up for their parents. So he's calling them his pa their parents. Like, he, like this church in Cor Corinth is his children, and he's their parent. But parents are supposed to save up for their children. On the other hand, does that mean he's supposed to be working his fingers to the bone to take them money? Okay, let me move on. He said, I will most gladly spend and be expended for your souls. So he's going to spend his own money to go there to help save them from hell. To get them into heaven. Okay. Now why would he have to do all that. If they're already saved. Of course. 
Most of you agree with me that once saved, always saved is a life from the pit of hell, as Jesus told me. Yes, it is. Paul's going there to help keep them pumped up, instructed, reminded how to live, not to fall off the path. Okay, he says, if I love you, if I love you more, am I to be loved less? But be that as it may, I did not burden you myself. Nevertheless, crafty fellow that I am, I took you in by deceit. Now, what do you think he means by that? I took you in by deceit. Did he deceive them into believing in Jesus? He says, certainly I have not taken advantage of you through any of those whom I have sent to you, have I? I urged Titus to go, and I sent the brother with him. Titus did not take any advantage of you, did he? Did we not conduct ourselves in the same spirit and walk in the same steps? All this time you have been thinking that we are defending ourselves to you. Actually, it is in the sight of God that we have been speaking in Christ. And all for your upbuilding, beloved. For I am afraid that perhaps when I come, I may find you to be not what I wish. And may be found by you to be, wait, yeah, not what I wish. And may be found by you to be not what you wish. That perhaps there will be strife, jealousy, angry tempers, disputes, slanders, gossip, arrogance, disturbances. He's afraid. He's going to find all that in them. And he's also afraid he's not going to be good enough for them. Maybe because of his infirmity, whatever it was. Are they going to look down on him and wonder, why aren't you healed, Paul? It's funny I should find this. Thank you, sister. Whichever one, sorry, forgot already who led me here. This is wonderful, and how good the timing. Last verse says, I am afraid that when I come again, my God may humiliate me before you, and I may mourn over many of those who have sinned in the past and not repented of the impurity, immorality, and sensuality which they have practiced. My goodness. And who was it? Just watched a video, I think yesterday, where the Lord revealed to somebody that the m biggest sin or the most commonly committed, I'm, I'm not sure how it was worded, was fornication. Now, maybe somebody saw that and can add in the comments who the video was, if anybody cares to see it. But it caused such an uproar. Um, the church didn't want to hear it. Maybe it was a preacher preaching it. Brought it to the church. They didn't want to hear it. It's coming back to me, but I, I can see the face. I can't tell you who it was. So anyway, let's move on. So, impurity, immorality, and sensuality. Right there it is. And isn't that often the case when people go astray? They just can't seem to help it. There's talk on YouTube of somebody who's done it. I'm not going there. 
Anyway, having said all of that, I do from time to time request a little bit for my needs, but also for the needs of others. As a church, we are supposed to help take care of others. And you know the one of whom I speak. Uh, there is also a young man who has a neighbor in need of $500 for his power bill. Now, this young man is also disabled, and I have suggested that he go to all sources for people who are disabled to get help with utilities because the United States of America does have that. I don't know if this person's from this country. I didn't ask. I don't know how every country operates. But um, the family that we, or at least I try to get everyone to help with, uh, we, four or five people end up providing all of it. And it shouldn't be that way. I'm begging you, I am, to look into your budget and see if you can't pull out $10. Send it to my PayPal because she doesn't have one. Okay? And that's, uh, it's JLM. For him at att.net. Put four needs. All right? Just put four needs. If you want to help me, if you want to give a love offering, I don't know if I'm moving it or not, y'all, so hold off on that. Let's help these people that are in need right now. I got to go talk to administration. I got to see what's going on. I don't know where they're at, and they're not talking. <laughs> so I may be just sitting right here where I'm at, okay? See, I don't, I have what I need most of the time so I don't have to ask okay I don't know how well I do know how Paul did it he he was a tent maker he was not disabled and he was able to make tents now I don't know what his infirmity was some have said blindness because he had people write his letters he was blinded for three days remember but the scales fell off his eyes after the third day did it leave him partially blinded? I don't know, but he still made tents. And that's how he made a living. And he did it wherever he went. That's one kind of business you could do everywhere you went back then. So anyway, that's why he didn't need to take their money. But he did take up a collection for the poor. Remember that. Okay? So put in... Your gift for needs. All right? Okay, I'm going to end it there and say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. Excuse my hat hair. It's really cold. And I have to stick that hat down over my hair and it makes it look flat as a pancake. Anyway, enough of that. Um... I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection over my computer, and over each and every one of you, your devices, and all your internet connections as well. And with that, I will say bye for now. We'll talk to you later.